I did a video uh, a while back on the submit all feature within Adobe Captivate. Submit all works like this. It allows users to move from question to question without submitting each of those questions. They can answer all they wish and then of course only um, submit those answers in for consideration with your quiz once they've answered all the questions. And uh, and Jally wrote, Hi Paul, can we make submit button state on quiz slide to disable? And I'm not entirely sure what was meant by that, but my guess is that uh, can we disable the submit button uh, on all of those uh, question slides, except for maybe the last one. So there really is no function to do that built into Captivate, but here's my workaround. So I've created this multiple choice quiz here. And of course, uh, we're gonna go into the edit drop down menu and select preferences to get into the quiz properties. The first of all, the, the first thing we need to do is uh, to turn the submit all feature on. We'll do this. You can go in, of course, and edit the, the various different dialogue uh, messages. Uh, I'm gonna go with the default for all of these here, and we'll just click on OK, and that's gonna ensure that you're gonna have uh, back and next buttons on all of your slides that have quiz questions. So now that we have that, if we wanted to hide the submit all button, on all but the last version of that particular slide. What I'm thinking would be the best solution is to take the submit all button from one of these slides and let's just change it a bit. Let's change the caption to nothing and let's change the transparency to, well, the opacity rather to zero, the width of the stroke to zero, and essentially we have a transparent button. Now, people in theory could still hit this button. There's nothing there that will prevent them from doing it, but I'm gonna create an object style and then I'm gonna move it to a position on the slide that is unlikely where someone would click. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this, uh, create a new style, we're gonna call this alternative quiz button and we'll click on OK here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this maybe up to the upper left-hand corner. And I don't know that you can move it entirely off the stage entirely. I don't know that you can move it entirely off the stage. Uh, my guess is that it will break the functionality of the quiz slide if you do so. But what you can do, of course, is you know position it in such a spot where the likelihood of someone actually clicking on this little tiny corner piece here uh, is close to impossible. And uh, I'm just gonna memorize these, uh, these positions here. So 10, 19, let's round it up to 10, 20 by minus 35 here. 10, 20 minus 35. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is go to all the other quiz slides and grab that submit all, all except for the very last one here. And we're gonna first of all choose alternate quiz button here. We will still have to remove the caption so that's not visible. And then we'll uh, choose these new positions. So 1020 by minus 35 puts that in the upper right hand corner. And I'll just repeat this for all of the questions. We'll do the same here, choose the alternate quiz button style. And uh, again, just put those all in the upper right hand corner. Okay, so I've, I've changed all except this last quiz slide to the alternate object style for uh, the submit all button. And uh, let's test it out now by doing a preview in HTML5 in browser. Here's our first question here, and we can uh, maybe skip this for now and uh, create responsive e-learning projects in fluid boxes. That's true. Uh, you can use Adobe e-learning community portal to all of the above. Uh, you need a green screen. No, you don't. What type of slides can be used as overlays? Um, knowledge checks. 
You can preview your responsive blah, blah, blah. Yep. Uh, yep. So now we have our submit all. Uh, we can hit submit all. Oh, one or more questions is incomplete. Answer all questions to continue. Now, of course, I need to go back and find that question, but that would be true in any case. Here it is. So there's the answer. Now, the downside of doing this, of course, is now that I need to uh, return back to that final quiz question slide to actually submit all. But, you know, if your users are okay with that, and I think that's part of the reason why the submit all is available on all question slides. But again, it certainly is uh, customizable by you. Let's hit submit all. So you get the message. You have answered all the questions. What do you want to do? Let's go ahead and submit all the answers. We're brought to the quiz results slide. And of course, we were successful. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.